U.S. authorities have said the facility where a chemical spill contaminated the water supply of 300,000 West Virginia residents was rarely checked, lying largely under the radar of government regulators who viewed it as a low-risk operation. This meant that a problem at a key holding wall at the Freedom Industries plant went undetected and unreported. The biggest lesson that I think we can sort of take initially with what we have, the facts that we have, is there seems to be some indication that there were, one, inspections had not been done over a number of years. We need to ensure that our inspection capabilities and the ability to enforce force regulations is robust. Freedom Storage Terminal holds millions of pounds of chemicals, including some used in coal processing, just two kilometers upstream from pipes that take in water for a public drinking supply. Those chemicals were stored behind a brick and concrete block dike that seems to have had structural problems, an issue the company apparently was aware of after having bought the property only one month ago. Freedom Industries had reportedly set aside one million U.S. dollars to fix the problem. The chemical spill last week left the residents of West Virginia's capital, Charleston, unable to use their tap water, relying instead on bottled water and emergency supplies provided by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The ban has now been lifted for some areas affected, with concentrations of the chemical, which is not life-threatening, continuing to fall in the city's water supply.